Yes. Welcome back to Sister Circle Live, and we are continuing our daily feed with this story. Former First Lady Laura Bush and forever First Lady Michelle Obama have both weighed in on the Trump administration's zero-tolerance immigration policy. Nearly 2,000 children have been torn from their parents due to strict border policies. Even refugees seeking asylum must be detained, which means their children are taken into custody and sent to detention Oof. centers. Lots of, uh, lots of talk about this over the weekend, including audio that you can hear children screaming for their parents. Uh, this policy, to me, has zero heart. Mm -hmm. You know, I know they talk about zero to tolerance. This is zero heart, how you could actually separate a child from their parent. Mm -hmm. I know there, I mean, there have been so many laws. This has been a sticky issue mm -hmm. throughout time. time. Mm -hmm. But to separate, mm -hmm. to, to really allow mm -hmm. a child to be separate from, a, from their mother. It speaks to our father. leadership. Yes, yes absolutely. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Well, Just it, no heart. It's very unfortunate because at the end of the day, this is going to have a lasting impact on the children. Mm -hmm. And I, we do understand that the people are coming here illegally. That's a whole different situation. But you don't know what they're running from. And I, I have to believe that at the end of the day, if you're going to be that desperate to pack your babies and put them on your back and travel for this amount of time to come to a border that you're not even sure that you're going to be able to be mm -hmm. entered into, allowed into, that says that this is a desperate situation. America is built on the back of immigrants. We absolutely need to do something about it and the law needs to be changed. This is not the first time that um, you know our country has uh separated families and taking children oh, well, yeah. uh, from families and, and separated mothers from from father the mothers and fathers and, and just completely broke down families. Hello slavery. Mm -hmm. Come on now. Mm -hmm. You understand? So this is just a repeat of itself, yes, you know? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And although they may not be putting these people into slavery and having them work against their will, you're you're locking them up and putting them in jail. Right, mm -hmm. right. And speaking of work, and most of the immigrants that come here come to seek a job, yeah. a better life. They're adding to our society versus taking. Yes, they need resources, but so do people that live here need resources. Absolutely. Well, then here's another thing that, I, that I, <clears throat> I'm concerned about. What is happening where we can't create a program that is um, uh, uh, conducive for immigrants to come in here legally? Mm -hmm. Why does it always have to be an issue of them being illegal if they're coming for a better life? Yeah, absolutely. And that's what we really need to, we need to get to the root of that problem. Mm -hmm. What is our legislation not doing to allow people to come into this, uh, to this country, good people mm -hmm. that want to hold jobs and not do, and, and not be illegal where you right. have to go through this? Right. Oh, mm -hmm. oh well stated, ladies. And